If you were around on YouTube during 2015, there's no doubt you saw a particular game floating around among popular YouTube Let's Players, with the design focusing on its attractive anime girls and having the gameplay of Candy Crush. Today, let's look at the not safe for work puzzle game, Honey Pop. <laughs> Honeypop is a western puzzle dating simulator with RPG-like elements developed by Ryan Coons. You play as a nameless protagonist with a non-existent love life. <clears throat> Couldn't be me. The goddess of love sends a fairy named Q to assist your loveless life who profiles eight girls around the town for you to romance. These girls go as follows. Aiko, Audrey, Belly, Jesse, Kiana, Lola, Nikki and Tiffany. As well as four unlockable girls, Celeste, Momo, Venus and Q herself. The gameplay of Honeypop is simple. The player has the choice of interacting with one of the many women by talking to them and giving them gifts as well as going on dates. When in the date, the gameplay turns Candy Crush-esque as the player must match up enough points to fill the affection meter within the desired turns. Each girl has their own favourite and least favourite token type, which the player can match up to get affection and the more dates the player goes on, the higher the affection level gets. The most important aspect of Honey Pop, however, comes when the dates are completed. After the player has completed all the dates with their desired girl, the special event occurs in which a night date is initiated. This involves the girl coming back to the player's bedroom and a bonus minigame begins. In this minigame, there are no move limits or broken hearts and the affection level is lower than average. However, the score decays over time, meaning that the player must pass the bonus stage as fast as possible in order to win. The minigame also features audio, which I cannot show for <clears throat> reasons. And then the game also shows images, which I also cannot show for reasons, but they do appear in the gallery so you can look at them as long as you want. As I said earlier, Honey Pop was created by Ryan Coons, also known as Honey Pop Dev or Honey Dev, and he created the spin-off Honey Cam Studio and the sequel Honey Pop 2 Double Date, we will talk about that in another video. Prior to the creation of Honey Pop, Ryan worked for both Insomniac Games and Activision, however not much more is known about his online personality or work aside from Honey Pop. For the creation of Honey Pop, Ryan worked with several artists and included music composed by Mitzi's, who also worked on Helltaker. Other names attached to Honey Pop include Kira Buckland, known for her role as 2B in Nia Automata, Mitzi's, who composed the original track for Honey Pop, and Christina Valenzuela, known for her role as Riven in League of Legends. The game was received positively by most critics who praised the unique gameplay, art and music. However, it also faced controversy due to the sexual content features in the game, which led to the game being banned on Twitch. This ban came in 2015 across all games with Twitch stating that the game violated its rules on nudity and sexual content. Overall, Honey Pop sold over 1 million copies by 2018 and captured the minds of millions of players around the world. It blends together the best of dating sim, puzzle and RPG genres, all while creating a unique and addictive gameplay experience. Honey Pop is a game that offers a humorous tone, an old school anime art style and hot anime girls and if you haven't played it, I would 100% recommend Honey Pop as it is truly a game you will never forget. I've been Ben and I'll see you in the next video.